Hey, welcome to this video. So in a previous video, I tested how a PS4 Slim compared to a PS4 Pro. And in that video, I discovered that the PS4 Pro, as you would expect, has a, a noticeable performance increase over the PS4 Slim. Now, the performance difference, although noticeable, was not amazing. So for example, on a load screen from loading from your character to selection into um, Calfian City, there was a 20 second decrease in the amount of time that it took to load in to the game, essentially. So, um, and although 20 seconds is great, when you're already looking at load times of getting close to two minutes, it's not super significant. So, um, in today's video, I'm going to look at the effects of putting a solid state drive known as an SSD into the PlayStation and seeing what sort of performance impacts that has. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button because subscribing makes sure that you stay up to date with all the latest news, tips and tricks for Black Desert Online for the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. Okay, so let's get started. So to begin with, I bought myself an SSD. Got it delivered, and I I got a, a caddy so that it could be plugged in externally. Now, the reason that I opted to go down the route of external SSD as opposed to internal SSD was a couple of reasons. Mainly, it's easier. It's very, it's, so, it's so simple to just plug it into the into the PlayStation and be done with it. Um, in terms of difference in performance, the the difference between the internal SATA 3 and a USB 3.1 are negligible. There is, a, there is a difference, and it is technically faster on a SATA 3 in your, kind of your theoretical maximum limits, um, but I didn't feel that it was such a significant difference that it was going to make that much of a difference to the test results. Um, this is not a fine science. We're not looking at actual specifics. We're looking at rough kind of scenarios. Plus, this kind of makes it a little bit more accessible. And I appreciate that the PlayStation has been designed to be able to swap hard drives easily. But the less messing around that I can do with a piece of hardware, the less risk there is there to bust in it. So that's the rationale behind going down the external SSD route. Um, and I'm sticking with it. <laughs> so, I mean, if anyone wants to put any performance figures for their own tests in the comments please be my guest let's share the knowledge and maybe we'll all learn something so what i did was i, I recreated the same scenarios that um i used on the on the previous test when i was comparing the pro to the slim um and the the one that was the most interesting to me the the one that i wanted to find out the most of was just simply loading into the level. So I found myself the place in Calthium where I was stood, killed the, the PlayStation and reloaded it up again. So loading in from the character screen through to actually in game, the speed was phenomenal, okay? So just to illustrate, on the PS4 Slim, it took one minute, 45 seconds to do this. On the PS4 Pro with the with the 5,200 RPM hard drive internally, that took one minute and 22 seconds. Now with the SSD, it took just 43 seconds. That is absolutely phenomenal. That's actually more than a minute quicker than the Slim. So to imagine yourself in a node wall where you've just died because someone out of the blue has just destroyed you and you don't even see them. And you sat there waiting for the load screen. You're waiting nearly two minutes in that situation. For this, it feels like immediately. The, the, the speed is just phenomenal. And I was blown away. I wasn't expecting this, but I was pleasantly, pleasantly surprised by this. So essentially what you're finding there is that the load speeds are about two and a half times quicker. Two and a half times quicker is bonkers. 
and in a in a situation where time is the most important factor when someone's hammering on your fort and you're just sat in the loading screen waiting for things to happen then this is going to make a big difference to the outcome of of wars i mean i would love to be in a guild where everybody just had pros with ssds that would make such a massive difference you know forget about your gear score everyone just needs a psvl pro with an ssd that's what i'd say no i wouldn't really that's just like harsh but anyway it would be a fantastic scenario to be in so anyway the next thing i did was i ran through calfian again same kind of route that i did before and one thing i noticed was that all the textures well let's say 99 percent of the textures were already loaded in whereas even before on the on the pro without the ssd the textures that are loaded in were the low quality textures and the people they had the, um, the kind of the black skin suits that you see where the, the textures haven't quite loaded in yet and um, I mean even on PC that happens you know I, I'm not it's not just limited to console you do see that on PC where the textures don't load in on NPCs walking around then you see people walking around and they look like it's kind of like black skin suited people um, but this was was phenomenal. All of all of the NPCs, with the exception of one NPC that I noticed, all had the textures on. All the environment was fully textured up. It was smooth. There was no stuttering. There was no invisible walls. It was remarkable the difference that this makes. So, in conclusion to that, SSD is. I would say highly, highly, highly recommend doing this. Maybe I've not tested it on the Slim, and it's something that I'm going to test on the Slim to see what kind of difference it makes, but um, definitely something that I would recommend doing, especially if you have a Pro, that's for sure. Um, possibly if you have a Slim. Um, SSDs, they're super cheap. So I picked mine up all in all with the, with the, um, the Caddy and the hard drive. It was about, it was less than £50. Now, one mistake that I almost made, and big shout out to my brother for pointing this out to me. Um, when I looked on Amazon, there was an SSD, and it was like £19 something. Let's call it £20, okay? And that was 120 gig. Now, when you look at the size of the game, the, the game takes up about 50 or 60 gigabytes. So... 120 gig hard drive is more than enough to to put a black desert on and my idea was that if i could spend 20 quid on improving this game this one game i only wanted it for this one game i, I literally don't have any other games on this console just this one game so i was perfectly happy willing prepared to do this uh, and i was just about to place my order chatting to my brother just to make sure because he, he works in in computer repairs so i always tend to him just to make sure that i'm not making stupid decisions with hardware purchases and he's like yeah that would definitely work he's like but actually i've got a feeling the playstation won't let you do this and i'm like what he's like yeah let me just check i've got a feeling you need to have a minimum size hard drive so he checked for me and he's like yeah chris you need 250 gig minimum. So I was like, darn it. But he saved me from purchasing a hard drive that wouldn't work. So thank you to my brother for, for pointing that out to me. That was um, that was a, a, almost a lifesaver. So anyway, I went with the 200, uh, no, sorry, a 480 gig hard drive. 480 gig SSD um, and the caddy. And all I did, you plug it straight into the back of your PlayStation Uh and then you basically go to expand storage, you format the drive, it takes about one second to do because the drive is so fast. Um, and then it you like essentially move the game from your internal to your external storage. Um, and that took me about, I think it was estimated 11 minutes on the transfer screen. So that was it. And then I could play the game. So if you're wanting to do that, don't be put off by the process because the process is simple it's safe it's quick it's easy and it's relatively cheap so 
yeah, that's my results. I'm really happy with this. And as I've mentioned, I would recommend other people if they're wanting to, if you want to push your performance, get a little bit more out of it. A solid state drive is definitely the way to go forward. Um, I did, in fact, I did one other test. Um, I went to Kazaka and I simply just left all of the models. I didn't turn off other players. It ran smooth as butter. So, yeah. Anyway. Okay, cool. I will leave you guys there. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I will see you in the next one. Hopefully I've earned your subscription. Leave me a like and a comment. And, um, yeah. Okay, bye.